Transmission. I would like to introduce DJ Dead Rod. House music. I remember that. What is up, everybody? Um, sorry about the uh, mishaps with the last episode. We were trying to work bugs out, trying to figure out how to stream live on the YouTube and all that. Unfortunately, I quit giving a fuck, and um, we're going to be moving over to Shoutcast within the next week or two, um, but for now, we're going to have to pre-record these episodes and get them out to you so you can stay up to date, because if you're broke like I am, then you don't watch the news. But Everyone's got a phone. Everyone's got YouTube. Everybody's got a phone and YouTube. That's very true. Uh, my name is DJ Dead Rot, and I'm here with Undead Relic, and hey. this is Real Talk Radio. I gotta create myself a picture, because, I mean, we can't just have just you up there, motherfucker. You gotta speak a little louder, bro. Alright, so, I need to create my own picture, because we can't just have you up there. I feel kind of left out. Even if I just, like, slowly over here in the corner, I'll be cool with that. <laughs> right, right. Anyway, so, last week we were trying to talk about the kid who shot himself. I'm not sure if that got posted up, but... Idiot. I'm gonna just sum it up real quick. You don't take a selfie with a gun that you found in your attic earlier that day with your cousin. Long story short, you're gonna get shot. Especially if you're not smart enough to check and make sure that the gun is not fucking loaded. Alright? That's, I mean, gun safety 101. I mean, don't look down the barrel... <laughs> you know? Right, don't point it at yourself Point it at what you aim to, to point it at This ain't Cartoon Network, this is real life You will die <laughs> Right The second topic we covered was um, I'm, I don't remember how old the kid was I think he was like 16 or something like that uh, He got locked in a military grade safe um, That hasn't been used in years But uh, So that was exciting No one knows how he got in there That was That was fun um, oh god, sorry, I'm shifting around in here. Yeah, we're still trying to get the studio all, uh, situated and ready to go. I still gotta drill some holes in the table. Got wires all over the place, looks like shit, but, um... Could be better. Could be worse. Current news, however, I was at work, I don't know how current it is, but there was a, a USA Weekly laying on the bar, and, uh, so I picked it up, and I read it, sadly. Um... But apparently, in uh, a military base in Utah, there's been an anthrax threat um, on the base, started in a biochemical web on the base, and because of it, they have shut down nine other biochemical labs in, in the U.S. Now, my concern is, um, if, it's a, if it's at a base, and the suspicion is high enough to shut down nine other uh, labs throughout the U.S. Where else is it going to pop up? You know, that's understandable. I mean, that's like we've we've uh, no the older generations, I should say, they they know of the anthrax scare. I mean, coming into my generation and younger, no one's really heard of the anthrax scare. I mean, they're teaching about it in school. I think, I hope, but um, it was it was a big thing, honestly. They, it, it caused a lot of concern for everything. And the fact I that mean, there's an anthrax scare now, yeah, I especially mean, for a bio plant. I mean, people were getting the fucking... Uh, back when I was in high school, man, people were getting envelopes in the mail with the shit in it. You know what I mean? Right, and that, that's that's the whole anthrax scare. That's, the, that's the, the scary part. And, like, I don't think that it's going to... I, hopefully, it's not going go to go back to that situation because they got shit to stop that now. They scan... Well, the mail should be scanned. I think it was. Yeah, yeah. They go through all kinds of scans and uh, different tests before mail actually gets shipped out because of that. But. Yeah. But still, it's just the whole fact that it's there again, and it shouldn't be. Right. Um, I mean, how mad do you gotta be at, you know, somebody else <laughs> to, fucking, I don't know, I I don't know how the whole thing works, but. Right. All right. Um. Let's see. Oh, the other thing that I, we tried covering last week was uh, the media finally picked up on 
vaporizers now being used for drugs. Ooh. And that one we covered real quick. I'm not going to go too far into it, but... Now, please keep in mind, he said drugs, not pot. Yeah. Because pot, pot's a plant. Uh, I mean, that's kind of... They were kind of designed for that, um, really, more or less. Um, we're talking, like, people are putting crack rocks and shit in it, stuff like that. And the new drug, Flocka, which is... Waka, Flocka. I'm not sure why it's called Flocka. Because he probably made it, all right? His <laughs> records aren't doing so good. Leave the poor guy alone. He's a fat black guy with dreads, all right? Like, just, just leave him alone. Did you right? open for him? I did. I did open for him, but that is neither here nor there because I did my set and I dipped the fuck out. Good point, good point. Anyways, so, yeah, anyways, Flocka, you know, it's supposed to be worse than cocaine and it's hit in South Florida. So if you're in South Florida, stay the fuck away from it. Don't be stupid. Just if stick to pot. Right, and also, um, they're starting to take, uh, cops are starting to take vaporizers now and testing them for drugs, so right. if you do smoke drugs through a vaporizer, be warned. Yeah, if, if you're if you're smoking pot out of a vaporizer, please be smart about it. Um, I'm not gonna be, you know, your stereotypical, you know, asshole. Oh, it, it's illegal. You shouldn't do it. Well, you know, that's bullshit. You know, whatever. Everybody's gonna smoke pot. If you like pot, you're gonna smoke it. If you are smoking pot out of a vaporizer, please at least be smart enough to carry around two. Once again two tanks with you so if anything should happen you can easily swap it out anyways now uh i'm not gonna tell you where we're recording because for all you know i could be in colorado michigan or california where pot is legal so kiss my ass don't forget washington washington there's and like whole... new york i know parts of new york got medical now a lot of, uh, actually there's there's a lot more states legalizing medical marijuana which is good um Amen to that. There's a lot of states that are on the ballot this year for medical and recreational, so... Which Ohio is one of those states. So, hopefully, our Ohioans can uh, enjoy either recreational or medical. Those who actually need medical, which there are quite a few people out there who come from, like, Michigan and stuff like that who can't have medical out here. So, good luck. Godspeed. Um, I am not, in any way, shape, or form, a spokesman for this group... But um, I am currently communicating with some members of Responsible Ohio to see about um, possibly being sponsored and so on and so forth. But once again, I am not a spokesman for the group. Anything I say is not a reflection of that group. It is my own personal thoughts. Just don't want to, you know, anything to, you know, oh, well, you had some asshole DJ online saying that, you know, ways to get around getting caught with, but no, no, fuck that. I'm... It's me. If you don't like me, tell me. It's not their fault. <laughs> nice disclaimer. Nice disclaimer. Yeah, you know, gotta, you know, like like how they uh, put on uh, guns. This is not a toy. You should fucking listen to it. Right. All right. And um, I'm not sure if I was able to cover this last week, but uh, Google Music actually has just now brought its live streaming to uh, not live streaming, but now it brings its streaming to servers in Japan as well as Apple. Now the only one who hasn't really brought up to it. Um, is Spotify and you know Japan's actually more of a hard copy country than anything so they actually have like CDs and stuff like that still Netflix I, well, I think they would have Netflix I hope they would have Netflix actually here here's here's a fun fact all right you know how Mikey's over in the army in uh, South Korea yeah well apparently the reason he hasn't used his Netflix account and he lets me use it they don't have it's it. actually in the um, uh, user agreement if you read the terms and conditions and all that which nobody ever fucking does. Biggest they're, not al- they're not allowed to have it in Korea. Really? Yeah, they're not allowed to have Netflix in uh, in uh, South Korea. And if he actually gets caught using it in South Korea, then they'll actually terminate his entire fucking um, subscription. And he'll never be allowed to make one again. Yeah, no, that's... If you're in South Korea, I'm sorry that you don't understand Netflix and chill. If you're in South Korea, wing a chong ching chong chong ching. That was so racist. I'm sorry. It's okay. It there happens. are someone who's gonna say something about that. You know I, it. I don't care. I'm not racist. Okay. I love. I hate everybody equally, and I love you all just the same. But some races are just more fun to make fun of than others. Well, anyways, you know, Japanese consumers are gonna pay about eight dollars and twenty-five cents U.S. dollars for. Uh, their subscription each month for the stuff, but um, they have a 30-day th- free trial that they can use, so that's nice. Yeah, it is. Right. So, 
but yes, yeah, like I said, Spotify is still behind on that shit. And do you really have a Skyrim app? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I want to broadcast to White Run, from White Run to Dawnstar, and Dawnstar to Solitude. So if we can somehow work that out, that would be fantastic. <laughs> you got problems. Yeah, I do, but so, it's okay. Now this next one I didn't bring up at all last uh, broadcast that we tried doing, so I'm gonna bring it up real quick. This is something I think is kind of retarded, and it's stupid, but it's also music related, and it's something that will definitely spark some uh, some conversation. What's that? So Keith Richards, which is the uh, Rolling Stoling, Rolling Stoling, <laughs> <laughs> dipshit, Rolling Stone guitarist. Uh, he calls rap fans tone deaf, and he also calls Metallica and Black Sabbath, quotations now, great jokes. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Metallica and Black Sabbath. Okay, now, I'm not a big supporter of Ozzy Osbourne offstage, but on stage and musically, the man is the prince of fucking darkness. Okay, nobody else has that title, and Metallica... I, are, are you fucking kidding me? Okay, what was that? Rolling Stones? Yeah. Rolling the guitarist. The guitarist. Let, not all of Rolling Stones. Keep what, that in mind. No, alright? Just like Kanye West. You Listen, motherfucker. You are not the greatest entertainer alive, and Freddie Mercury can whoop your ass any day of the month. Even dead. He's like, to this day, you're still getting pwned by Freddie fucking Mercury. So, blow it out your asshole, alright? But. Take the <sighs> shit he gave me. Okay, so. <laughs> so yeah, he did. The, he said this with an interview with uh, the New York Daily News. So if you want to catch up more on that, look that up. You know, just look up Keith Richards' um, interview with New York Daily News, and you get all the the spiel behind that and the stupidity behind it too. I mean, everyone's entitled to their own opinion, so I can understand it. But um, seriously, that's 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 something that's ignorant. That's really really ignorant. So, um, so that was all I wanted to cover last week, really. I mean, it was just some basic stuff, but it's still something to talk about. Because we were doing a live broadcast, and we were trying, well, we were trying to do a live broadcast, I should say. But, um, we are having so many difficulties with that. <sighs> I, I, I was trying to look it up. Um, Justin Bieber had done something very offensive, and I can't find it. And it just kept popping up songs, and I don't want to listen to that little faggot. Um... I'm not a gay hater, okay? I love everybody. If you're gay, love who you love. But Justin Bieber is just... Justin Bieber. Just, just leave it at that. Uh, fuck that guy. Yeah, his all, he got kicked out of Canada while trying to get... While America was trying to kick him out. Like, come on. Didn't didn't one of your relatives get kicked out of the U.S.? Yeah, my, um, my half-brother, actually. Um, my mom's full blood Brit. My dad's mutt, but he's American citizen. Um, my oldest brother was in and out of jail constantly and all that. I mean, love the dude to death. Seriously. Kind of hard to talk to now because of his accent, but... <laughs> he uh, He's no longer allowed back in the United States anymore. He's <laughs> he's forced to stay in... Well, he's just not allowed back in the United States. No! You stay! You stay now! <laughs> Britain. Britain. I know, but it, sounded, it was funnier with an Asian accent. All right. Okay, okay. No. Oh, you look like a check of fried rice. Oh, God, please stop. Anyway. Anyways, so, um, some other news. Hold on, hold on. Oh, oh. I, I, um, I recently did a show at Fastback's Bar and Grill. Yeah. In, uh, Brook Park. Yeah. And it was phenomenal. And I just want to give a shout out to all my people, um, shout all my out. friends that also performed that night, including, but not limited to, Shadow Row, my boy. Lazy ass destroyer. God damn. Yeah. <laughs> Lazy ass destroyer. If you've uh, never heard of them, look them up. Look them up, but do not do it around children. Um. Seriously, it's recommended. Or it's... homophobe. Well, yeah, yeah. The, don't the, do that. the, the guitar player. Yeah. Um. But uh, my boy Crow, and my homies Dragonfly, who came all the way out from Chicago, Illinois. Much love to them. Whoop whoop. But yeah. Um. Anyway. I am gonna make take a break, and we're gonna get some more shit together to talk to you about. Oh, I got some. I'm gonna play uh, a song that I made. Um, it's uh, "Animals" by Martin Garrix. It's my own remix using some guys from uh, Family Guy and what have you. We we're trying to use and, this in the live show. Yeah, we did, but um, we had 
we have to use something. Yeah, we do. We'll be so, back. Yeah, we'll we'll be back. Don't 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 fret. We're coming. My God, who the hell cares? I guess this is the night bitches die. miss me probably not um anyway um i wanted to jump right into music and all that jazz and um uh i don't know how many of you are tech nine fans or whatnot but i fucking love the dude talented as hell um i've been down with his music since like 2002 um but he recently released an album called special effects and um it, it it's fucking fire man like he does a song on there with a T.I. and Zeus called On the Bible. And oh my god. That fucking song goes hard as shit. And um, he also did a collab with uh, Eminem and Chris Calico uh, on a track called Speedum. Now me personally, I'm not a fan of Eminem's um, 
rap style per se on that particular track. Um, it really like honestly, that song. It's it, in quotation, not in quotations, but in like uh, parentheses. It's called Worldwide Choppers Two. Now, the one thing that pisses me off about that is there's only people from. There's only three people. On. There's only three people, and it's from the Midwest. Right. So I mean, that's not really Worldwide Choppers. There's only three people, and they're all from America. Right. And uh, I mean, like Eminem, he he does he 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 kills it absolutely. Oh yeah. But um, it just it doesn't seem it, right. The way he delivers it, it sounds sloppy. Yeah. And I don't, I don't mean to, you know, defame or insult or anything like that, because it definitely ain't, ain't like that at all. But uh, it just the way he put it together, it sounded a little sloppy, I think, especially when you got um, accurate um, choppers like Tech Nine and Chris Calico, who, you know, they've been doing it a little longer. Um, you know, putting them on the track with someone who's just now getting into fast rapping. You know, I mean, he started off a rap god and moved into, you know, more more um, quickly paced songs. I just think that, uh, I think you should have taken a little more time on it, to be honest with you. Yeah. Um, the lyrics are bomb, you know, really good, you know, well written. It just, something about it just needs work. That's the best right. way to put it. And, uh... He also does another song that's, uh, like, really, really, uh, how do I describe it, uh, Worldly Angel? It's it, really, it's a real heartfelt song. I mean, it's something that will really pull on some strings on your heart. Yeah, sure. it, it, it's pretty much a song, um, to and about his mom who recently passed away, <clears> which <throat> if by any chance, Tech, you're listening to this, I'm so sorry for your lost brother. Stay strong, things will get better. Um, but the song Worldly Angel is so well done. It, I don't, I'll put it on the next episode so you guys can hear it, but I don't have it prepped up right now. Um, but yeah, it's, it's phenomenal. Definitely go check it out. YouTube it if you got to, torrent it if you have to, or go out and buy it like a regular person. Um, that's up to you. But, yeah. Okay, so some other stuff music-wise that I want to... Oh, my God, I'm about to sneeze. <laughs> um, <laughs> so that I wanted to bring up is, uh, you know, some upcoming album releases and ones that I actually released just recently. Um, let's see. I don't care about anything that was released recently. I take that back. Oh, no, Iron Maiden, uh, The Book of Souls, that was released. That was, you know, that's something to check out. That was released on the 4th of September. Then uh, you got on September seventh. You got Prince. Um, it is I'm not sure what it's called. I think the album name is Hit and Run, and it's actually um, it's like the your essential Prince playlist. Every song, pretty much that you you love to listen to of Prince, it's gonna be on there. Um, you know, greatest hits and all. And then you got some. Uh, I just wanted to. Um bring up uh, Slipknot's most recent album, uh, The Grey Chapter. Oh. Um, which I'm guessing <laughs> was uh, titled for the late, great Paul Gray. <coughs> um, if you're not a big metal fan, even if you are, I, I highly recommend going out and checking that out. Um, I think that was released in 2014. But the fact of the matter is that... Um, there's a lot of really heartfelt songs on that album. Um, a lot of your, you know, typical mosh songs and uh, all that jazz. But uh, Undead Relics doing some shit. So, um, yeah. What do you got? Okay. Um, some another another album that's being released soon is uh, Slayer is releasing an album on the 11th of September. Ha. Huh. Uh, who else? Who else? Duran Duran. I don't know what's going on with that one. Let me see what that's at. Da, 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 da. You know Duran Duran. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so new album called Paper Gods. It's on the 11th. Um, they have a whole thing going up on iTunes, uh, Amazon. They got a tour coming. Uh, you know, they got a tour and everything. Wow, they, just, they got a lot of shit going on. All right, good job for Duran Duran. Anyways, 
So that's 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 what I'm getting for that because there's a whole bunch more of like upcoming albums that are being released, but a lot of them are people that a lot of people haven't heard of. So I mean, if you want to you want to find out some upcoming album releases, honestly, just Google the shit. You'll find some good ones. You'll find some shitty ones. See what happens. So, <laughs> uh, I got some. You know, we can cover the VMAs, honestly. Fuck no. But that's the whole thing. I'm not. This going is to. not that kind of show. Don't bring that dirty shit on this show. Fuck the VMAs. What's good? There's nothing good on the VMAs. All right. No, no, that's something you you didn't hear about that, did you? What? That was Nick. Did Miley Cyrus finally get shot? No, no. Damn Nick, it! Nicki Minaj um, got in an argument with uh, Miley Cyrus and went off, and they had to shut off my uh, not Miley's mic, but um, Nicki Minaj's mic. Oh yeah. <laughs> but um. Anyways, so I mean, there's there's a lot going on. So let's bring up some cop news. It sounds horrible, but let's let's start it off on a positive note. Um. So, you know, the team provides, you know, backup for a Texas, provides backup, now backups in quotations for this, by the way, uh, for a Texas deputy pumping gas. Now, we all know about the, um, the, the sheriff that was, uh, shot at the gas station while pumping gas. Um, let's see, when was that, actually? I have it, the date. Uh, it's, it's a little over a week ago, um, August 28th. Oh, wow, yeah. But, um, that was the deputy, my bad, my bad. Um, he was, uh, shot dead on August 28th while refueling his patrol car. The, uh, 10-year veteran was in uniform at the time, and, you know, it was more of, like, an execution-style attack. So, I mean, that's, that's pretty messed up. Well, this, this teen, um, asked this Harris County deputy, um, if he can, you know, stay by her while she's pumping gas to make sure she's safe. They ended up taking actually a selfie together with this, and she posted it up on Facebook. Um, it's been shared over a hundred thousand times and all that. I mean, are you fucking serious? Oh shit! What'd you do, man? People are complaining about "In God We Trust" being on cop cars. Well, like we're that's stupid. I that mean, is, no, that's fucking retarded. There are, I mean, there are people who aren't religious, which is understandable. Like, I'm not a very religious person. I understand this. You are. Yeah. You're not, like, you're not Bible-thumping religious, but you're religious at the same time. Me, I don't know what's going to happen to me after I die. If I, you know, if I die and go up, you know, go to heaven, and I'm being told, hey, you know, you're going to hell because you didn't believe me. Okay, I fucked up. I, 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 I honestly, th I'm, I'm just getting so sick and fucking tired of everybody finding reasons to hate each other. Like, I thought America was a melting pot. I thought we were all supposed to get along and love one another and embrace each other's lifestyles and heritages and all that shit. No, 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 no. You know, you got blacks hating whites, you got whites hating Mexicans, you got Christians hating atheists, atheists hating Christians, pagans are standing there like, what the fuck's going on? It, it's fucking irritating. Honestly... Just stop. No, just the one, fucking stop. The one thing everyone needs to incorporate is live and let live. You know, if someone has something against you that you don't, like, they find, like, something is wrong with you, they can go fuck themselves. You're living your own life. Don't let someone else live your life. It, honestly, like, yeah. You know, I, I'm not going to say I'm a Christian because I'm not. I don't abide by church rules. I'm a son of God, more or less. Um, but I'm not going to go out and protest gay marriages or, you know, any of that stupid shit because I don't believe it, you know? Like... It says to love your neighbor as your brother. Okay? Judgment is not up to us. Quit trying to judge everybody. Quit trying to bring everybody down. Who the fuck cares? I don't care if you're black, white, gay, Asian. I, I don't give a fuck. I don't even give a fuck if you're a Satanist. As long as you're being nice to me, I'm going to be nice to you. See if I give a fuck. You want to you wanna go worship the Dark Lord and <laughs> whatever else, man? Fucking dude, go for it, man. Whatever makes you happy. But... You so, know? 
it's just we're not gonna get into that. It just I, bothers me. It, it. You know one thing that you, they say you really shouldn't talk about, which is fucked up because a lot of this is religion on, and politics, and we're doing a lot of religion and politics, which makes no sense. And me and you are like exact opposite for religion, which is fucking hilarious that we get along so well. You know what? <laughs> Thanks, Obama. Really? Yeah. Really? Yep. Keep it up. It's gonna be Trump. Fuck Trump. Keep it up. It's gonna be Kanye. Fuck Kanye. <laughs> Meet Bush. Fuck Bush. Buck Fush. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so, as we were saying, as, back to another cop story. This one's retarded. So, an officer got fired <laughs> because he shot his own patrol car and said someone shot his car and caused him to crash and catch on fire. I'm sorry, but is it that boring in Massachusetts? Well, here's the worst part is he was a part-time cop. You're not even a real cop. You're processed bacon. Come on now. It, it's even worse because he was, he was supposed to be... He's a dispatcher. <laughs> now... <laughs> Now, he, he was just getting trained to be in the field and all that, so he was just getting to that point. But uh, he's being charged with, um, let's see, hold on. Misleading a criminal investigation. My fucking computer's being a dick. Communicating false information to emergency services. Miscellaneous destruction of property over $250 and unlawful discharge of an arm, according to the Mills Police, which is in Massachusetts. Here's a question. Is he going to be going to jail for discharging a firearm inside city limits? I don't know. What about inciting panic? Because those are both felonies. Oh, that'd be interesting. Yeah. Anyways, long story short, he lost his job. Oh. Um, so that was interesting. But yeah, he was being in training for a full-time officer, so... Who cares? You're a desk jockey that got bored. Pretty much. I mean, they don't even know... They don't know why it, it started... Um, but he said the guy said that uh, a man in a dark pickup better let me one of those motherfuckers if you take one of my cigarettes. <laughs> I don't support smoking. If you have, if you don't smoke like cigarettes, don't start up, man. It's gonna fuck you up. It's an expensive habit. If you're smoking, cigarette prices are getting too damn expensive. Learn to fucking quit. I quit smoking about 20 minutes ago. <laughs> oh, I picked it up again. I'm back at it. So anyways, I mean, apparently this dark pickup, the, the, the officer was reporting that a uh, dark pickup truck shot at him, causing his uh, patrol car to spin around, striking a tree and catching fire. So he probably wasn't paying attention, ran to a tree, it started catching on fire, so he shot it so he could make a story up about it. I'm just putting that out there, that seems like a plausible idea, that's... Oh, um, oh, local news, I don't know if anybody, I don't know if they caught the guy... Or whatever, oh God. but this fucker needs to burn. All right, in Willoughby on Lakeshore Boulevard, some fucker in a red truck rear-ended really hard a pregnant woman who was driving, and just took off. You gotta be shitting me. Like, I'm sorry, I don't care if she's pregnant, single, or if it was a fucking bodybuilder in the other car. If you hit somebody, you stop and make sure they're okay. That's messed up, man. Like I, I, I want I want to find an update and see if she's okay. Make sure the baby's okay. I'm gonna get on that um, here in a minute. But oh wow, what? here's something: a 11 uh, year old in St. Louis area, um, a 11 year old boy and his uh, four year old sister. Um, they they fought off several uh, attempts, uh, home invasion attempts, and finally killed a like they killed the 16 year old. Uh, intruder. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know how. I'm just getting like I just now got this information for myself, so I do apologize for this, guys. Um, it, apparently, he shot the guy. Um, the boys were arguing on the front porch before the younger child pulled out a gun and shot the teenager. Wow. It occurred Thursday afternoon in North St. Louis County. Um, They haven't released the name of the teenager yet, but uh, he was shot in the head by the 11 year old. So, I mean, that's. Little kid's got some good ass aim. Right, I mean, that sounds messed up, but there's, there's a video about it. I mean, if you want to get some more information on it, you can go to CNN. I'm, they, I know they have it. I, I'm pretty sure some Fox has it. You, you could probably go to a lot of different places and find the information. It's messed up. I, I don't. I, I think it's. There's a lot of destruction in this world there's a lot of happiness in this world you just there's so much being broadcasted by 
the media outlets, which I'm not helping with this right now. It sounds messed right. up. Right. But Dick. What the fuck? Did you move my ashtray? You didn't have an ashtray. Okay. Shut up. You know oh, what? Okay. We're, <laughs> I thought you moved it. <laughs> we're we're going to take a break and gather our thoughts and hopefully come back with something noteworthy to tell you. Um, yeah, so... Why would I have something noteworthy? Do you see this? Shut up. Here's some knife party for you. Come now. Surely we can be friends. I know so much about you. I love you. Look at everything I've done for you. You'd be nothing without me. Why don't you answer me? I bet you're busy talking to some fucking slut. Fucking skank. Is she hotter than me? Would you fuck me? Are you gay? Facebook. And now, you're going to get fucked up. Now 
or you're going to die. All right. We're back. And I did find an update um, about the hit and run with the pregnant woman in Willoughby. Um, from what sources say, she's okay. The baby is fine. Um, I did not see whether or not they have um, apprehended the suspect or not. But, uh, yeah. I'm using big words. Um, but I'm just happy to hear that she's okay. Um, that makes it, you know... A little easier to talk about because I don't have a reported dead kid or something like that. So right, I mean, we've already did enough this episode. I don't want to keep doing that. Right. All right. So some some other stuff that I want we're gonna bring up is just real quick and easy about this. Um. So you know, T-Mobile. Uh, the CEO actually mocked Verizon's new logo that they released. Because <laughs> what it is, you know, Verizon no longer. Uh, they, they kept the same stuff pretty much except the the check for Verizon whatever the check mark whatever you want to call it uh, is no longer italic itali italic whatever you want to call it the rest of the word I can't fucking say it right I'm gonna stutter for that shit and I ain't doing that um, but they moved it to the right of the name as well instead of on top of it so you know the CEO went to Twitter you know, making fun of it within hours with a tweeting a picture of it of a fake checklist in the same style as the company's new look. Yeah. And this is what it, it, it says it's Verizon screws over customers, check. <laughs> Data overages, penalties, check. Keep all, uh, keeps all your unused data, check. No early upgrade options, check. Hefty fees for international roaming, check. Did I mention screws over customers, check. <laughs> well, I mean, T-Mobile really doesn't have a lot of room to talk. I mean, they say $45, unlimited everything, but your data cap's at, like, one gig. So uh, right. T-Mobile can kiss my ass with that sprint where it's at. You actually get unlimited 4G, LTE, and all that jazz. You know what? I might actually call them about, you know, sponsoring us. Maybe I'll get a new fucking iPhone or something. That'd be what's up. Man, you and your fucking iPhones. Fuck Androids, all right? I'm an Android guy. I, I love Apple products, keep in mind. I love Apple products. I love their computers. I love their iPads, their iPods. I hate their phones. Their phones are phenomenal. I hate but the them. recent iOS update, the 8.4 point whatever the fuck, sucked ass. It, it fucked with the music. It uninstalled but kept it on the phone, but I had to be on data to listen to it. I was like, you know what? Fuck it. So I got rid of my iPhone um, until the uh, 9, the iOS 9 comes out. So um, they're actually going to be releasing the uh, a picture of the iPhone 7. I think I may shortly. actually. I think it's just being. I think I may actually be able to pull a photo up for us, for us, so we could see, and I can give you some more information. Yeah, y'all fucked. Just give me a minute on that one. Um, so, anyways, Verizon has yet to come back with any. Uh, any revenge, not revenge tweets, but responses to that tweet. Um, you know, the, the CEO also has publicly bashed other companies with uh, Sprint as well. Um, it just, man, T-Mobile likes bashing people, I see. So yeah. that's that. Again, that, with that stop hating people thing. Right. I mean, I, he's just doing it for I mean, publicity, I don't, guess. Don't get me wrong. It's very true about Verizon. Verizon fucking... God, if, you, yeah. if, if you want to spend $1,500 a month on a phone, dude, go for it. But... <coughs> Other than that, I mean... I got, I got Metro PCS. Honestly, it runs off the T-Mobile network, but it's a hell of a lot better service. <coughs> I'm just going to put that out there. People as broke as we are, it's pretty much between. I pay forty bucks a month. <laughs> it's pretty much between T-Mobile and that Walmart special. <laughs> what Family Mobile or Straight Talk? Straight Talk. Straight Talk. That's what I. That's what I used to have. <laughs> Bring your own phone, but it's got to be unlocked and approved. <laughs> yeah, two right. empty ten cans and a string, like you know. Boom! You got yourself free service. Like the kids on Little House on the Prairie used to do. <laughs> So, um, Google has actually released a new version of Chrome, which claims to make your browser faster and give your laptop extra battery life. Ha! Well, yeah, I mean, right. no, this is this is how this is how they did it, according to them. Um, Chrome will no longer, you know, 
Chrome will now look for data no longer being used that is just sitting on your computer's memory. Which, uh, when the time is right, Chrome will take out the garbage. Believe it or not, is actually an actual computer science term for uh, what the new version of Chrome is doing. So, uh, you know, they're going to be taking out the garbage of previous versions of Chrome. So, if you have, like, if you updated the Chrome, it's getting rid of all of the other updates. So, it actually releases all that extra data, or not data, but memory. Um, do, 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 do. Did you see the new Apple Watches yet? No, I haven't. They I are haven't. phenomenal. I'll look that up in a they're, second. They're a, little, they're a little pricey, but they're good. Well, they're going to be pricey. $350. Um, so, you know, Google Chrome will no longer just idle until... It will idle when the pages are completely loaded, so... It's going gonna, it's gonna to move faster. I mean, I can honestly say I've updated my Chrome, honestly, and it has been moving a hell of a lot faster. My battery life, I mean, I can go off... I haven't charged this in two days. I'm just now tossing it on the charger. Let's leave it at that. So, that's kind of cool. And it's actually, it, it will, you know, the new feature will reduce memory usage from between 10 to 45%. So, I mean, good job, Google, I guess, for the, the new Chrome update. Oh, 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 I got, I got something to tell you. Oh, God. You remember how I wanted to watch the movie Ouija, and all we yeah. found on Netflix was Ouija Experiment? Yeah. Well, I actually bought Ouija. And? It fucking sucks. I could have told you that. It sucks so hardcore. It, 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 no, it all right. It wasn't worth it. it. It's a Hollywood teen fest, pretty much. So if you want to watch a good horror movie about Ouija boards, go on to Netflix and watch uh, Ouija Experiment. So badass. Okay, so another... You know, tech thing. I guess. <laughs> Bless you. Another tech. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I like how I didn't sneeze, but you did. Right. The fuck is this shit? So another tech thing that's coming up is uh, actually came up is um, Boeing is releasing a new plane from their Seattle factory. Ooh boy, another thing that crashed to the ground. Well, here's the thing. It's called the 77-9X. It's the first of the you know the that family, the 77X um, family. For, you know, it, you know, people who are into planes and stuff like that, there's a lot to be excited about. For one, the wing. It's fucking huge. It's actually so big that they, the, the, the plane's wings fold up. That's what I gotta do with my penis, but you don't see me broadcasting it all over the news. Why not? <laughs> um, but yeah, it has hinges on the wing tips, so it allows the planes to shorten its wingspan from, you know, when going across... Women being taxied on an airport, uh, on a strip. Thank you. The way I see it, that's just one more thing that can go wrong. Well, it's a commercial. It's also a passenger. They have a commercial one and a passenger one. Uh, let's see. It has the largest wingspan in the company's 99-year history of 235 feet and 5 inches. Fuck that. Right. That's fucking huge. It is... Wider than 53 foot, the uh, four 53 foot semi trucks and uh, semi truck trailers parked end to end. Shit, just the uh, hinged wing tips are about 12 feet long. Right. But anyways, they're they're doing testing soon on it, so they're gonna see how that goes. Um, they're gonna try to fix every single thing they can. Just there's, there's actually a lot on this one. It's let's huh. see. It's, Wow, there's actually quite a bit. Sorry, we're learning about this right now as we go. I just kind of looked it up. It's been in the... Uh, so anyways, this plane's been in the pipeline for about two years now. Um, let's see. Huh. Interesting shit. Anyways, it's going to have bigger windows and wider cabins now, so it's actually going to be a comfortable airplane, apparently. Yeah, it seats up at least to 400 passengers. That's 34 more than their uh, competitors for Airbus, which holds uh, typically about 366 people in the three-class configuration that they have. Um, Tell you what, when I lived in Florida, I took a flight from, um, <laughs> what was it, Punta Gorda, Florida to Cleveland, and uh, I took a, the, the plane we got on was called Skybus. It was only like it was our grand opening, and we only paid forty five dollars for our ticket. <laughs> That's not bad. Yeah, right. 
What's cooking? Do you smell something delicious? I do. I do too. So anyways, it's going to have two engines, two aisles. <clears throat> the cabin width is about uh, six meters. Uh, God. Do, 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 do. Somebody, somebody across the hall has got to be cooking something or something like that because we smell something delicious. So it's either really bad or really good. So yeah, they're expected to be getting servi uh, service time. They're, uh, the time that they're expecting that this plane is actually going to be up and running and for commercial, you know, like air people riding on it, is 2020. 2020. So when Kanye goes out to be president, <laughs> so is this plane. Well, not for president. Let's, let's all just elect Batman. <laughs> Whichever current actor they have. What is the new one? I don't know. Ben Affleck. No, it's Christian Bale. No. I don't care. It's Christian Bale. I, <laughs> keep it up. It's going to be Adam West. Adam West the shit. Yeah. Uh, you better be sharing them ribs. Sorry, we smell barbecue right now. Anyways, so as I was saying, I mean that's that's cool. That's that's honestly cool. It's that high. it's a huge fucking plane. It's actually it's supposed to be more comfortable for the passengers now because they're actually giving you more leg space and all that shit too. I got an idea. Oh god. Take the fucking bus. People who don't have time for that sometimes. Why not? Because, okay, say you have to be to California in about two or three hours. How the fuck are you going to get there? It's a six-hour flight. That's true. I'm just saying. I was making a joke. I'm just saying, motherfucker. How long is it going to take bus-wise? Uh, Several well, days? let's see. I could probably drive from Cleveland to L.A. in probably about four days. So, I mean, let's see. Yeah, sorry, pardon <sighs> Anyways, mm. so the uh, next gen iPhone 7, by the way, is to be as thin as the iPod Touch, around 6 millimeters. So that's cool. That's that should be up. interesting, actually. It's gonna be a th that's I mean that's the main thing I'm seeing all all over the news feeds and all that stuff is that it's gonna be the thinnest one yet. Mm. Let's see if I can get some information about it, more information about it. Um. Well, I don't like silence. We got so. a few, yeah, we, and a few, uh, they're going to release more information about it uh, on the 9th. So, it's going to be at 10 a.m. Uh, Pacific time, by the way. So everybody knows. And in San Francisco. But, um... So they're expecting the sale for the iPhone to be going on the 18th of September. That's when they're expecting the uh, the sell date for that. Woohoo! That means I can get the six at a discounted price. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That's what I'm, what I'm saying. So the price is gonna vary. Um, it's gonna give me how much is it is for a pound, like per pound, which is uh, you know United Kingdom's dollar. Right amount um they got the 16 gigabyte the 64 gigabyte the 120 gigabyte variants Ooh. so it'll cost anywhere between 539 pounds 619 pounds and 699 pounds so it'll probably be anywhere from about 700 to about 900 dollars for us don't mind my phone but i'm gonna play some music and then i'm gonna hit you with some um advertisements and then we're gonna be the fuck up out of here but uh i'm about to play nympho by borgor for ya you're welcome Hey kids, it's Boy Goy. Do you know what's hardcore? Me shoving an elephant up your sister's back door. She wants foreplay, I don't wanna play. What for? This bitch is so used, I wouldn't sell her on a second hand store. Cause her pussy is so wide that you can put your head inside. Bring ten of your friends and have yourself a ride. I'm telling you, this bitch is crazy. She needs to be arrested. She'll suck your dick so deep that you'll feel your dick digested. Info. I'm a nympho, I'm a nympho, I'm a nympho You can get in my pants, skip the intro I love my mom, my dad, and my dildo She's a nympho, she's a nympho 
info. She's an info. She's an info. She likes to fuck all day. She never stops. You be the two girls, she'll be the cop. <laughs> It's, it's Undead Relic here, obviously. Da -da -da. So, this Saturday, I have to bring this up because I am a man of with a beard. Well, it was a beard, now it's just a... It's a beard still, kind of. Technically classified as a beard. You know, chin curtain, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> <laughs> so, this Saturday... This Saturday is actually um, World Beard Day. Woohoo! You know, celebrating the facial hair, man. So, um, some some interesting facts about some. I'm gonna give you one fact about beards. The longest beard in the world, grown by Hans Lagseth. I'm so sorry, even though you're dead. I sorry, I mispronounced your name. Um, his beard in 1927 was a staggering 17 feet and six inches long. God damn. Right, that's that, that's a lot. That's a lot of beard. That's a lot of dedication, man. No, he just doesn't like razors. By the time I reached <laughs> my balls, I'd have been like, nope, time to go. Well, little side fact: the second longest beard is twelve feet. So, if the beard is longer than your body, eat it, ZZ Top. <laughs> Fuck Anyways, this. so if you actually want to see this beard, by the way, the world's longest beard, with your fancy spinning guitars. <laughs> you can go to the Smithsonian Museum and actually they have his beard in storage. Why? But I don't know. But everybody's like posting tweets, you know, for the the holiday and all that for like people on sports teams, um, guys just hanging out with each other, I guess, who have similar beards of some sorts. Oh my god, look at that dead man's uh, dead skin follicles. We're not talking. Cool. We're, we're, we're dropping the beard of the dead man. No, don't drop the beard of the dead man because it's already touching the floor. Um... I'm 6'5", and that thing... Oh, 
Use it as a parachute. God. <laughs> I'm gonna jump! Nah, my beard got caught. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Can, can you imagine if he was trying to headbang and his fucking beard got caught around the ceiling fan? Oh god! <laughs> That'd be horrible. But anyways, there's a whole bunch of people, you know, tweeting about it and stuff like that. So if you got a beard, tweet about it. I mean, tweet us a picture of it, of your beard. I'm gonna get you beard oil for Christmas. Don't give me beard oil. I need mustache stuff. <laughs> people die at the fair. People die at the fair, man. Every year, people die at the fair. Baby. Yeah. People die at the fair. Yeah. She, did, she didn't do it, guys. I'm sorry. But anyways, I mean, if you, there's just so much. If you got a beard, flaunt it. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's Everyone. stealing Steve's cigarettes. Right. Everyone just loves my cigarettes. Anyways. It's not for me. Oh, never mind. It's for my fiance. He's not for you. So, anyways. Now, this this is something more... Hilarious. It's hilarious and it's sad. So, this is actually going to be my last topic. i got to end on this one. So, I'm pretty sure you've probably heard about this already, but the 30 people who were injured during a traditional pillow fight at West Point. Now, I, I I don't know. Th this is just hilarious. But this is this is the reason why they were. Uh, I'll tell you why they got injured. But because some motherfucker put coke in his pillow instead of. <laughs> oh God! Fucking uh, doing like some jail uh, schlocking. They 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 put. Pretty much what happens is, um, you know, West Point thrives on its tradition. They always have a massive pillow fight. You know, held on campus for first year uh, first year students. You know, to blow off steam after a tough first summer um, of basic training. Um, so the pillow fight was held on August twentieth, and thirty people from the class of twenty nineteen required medical attention. Twenty of them suffer. Twenty four of them suffering from concussions. Um, other injuries included broken noses, dislocated shoulders, hairline fractures of cheekbones. I mean, all of them have returned back to duty. By the way. So did um, they use concrete, or was it actually pillows? Some of them have... The, some of the pillows actually contained hard objects. It doesn't say what kind there are, but it it does. It just says, you know, it would contain hard objects, but I mean... Yeah, some motherfucker got ghetto, put a roll of quarters in his pillow. Right. Or a couple oranges so it doesn't leave bruises. <laughs> No, if you use oranges, you will not get a bruise. If somebody beats you with an orange, like a sock full of oranges, no bruises. Anyways, we're having side conversations going on here while doing this at once. Anyways, so the super, uh, super, uh, superintendent is actually taking full responsibility for the pillow fight. That's getting irritating. Um, so they're going to continue the investigation to ensure the accountability and reinforce with the corpse that we must take all uh take care of all of their teammates so i mean at least he's taking like he's taking the blame for it because honestly they should, like it's something fun it's it's gonna it, it's made to help you know like calm down you know the candidates you know i mean going the first year and like pretty much like boot training boot camp whatever you want to call it i'm not gonna talk for a while my wife just made me pizza anyways boot camp i mean you you're you're gonna get a little stir crazy. We've all probably seen Full Metal Jacket. If you haven't, watch it. It's really fucked up if you're first time watching it. So, other than that, it's a really good movie. So, on that note, this is my pizza. There are so many like it, but this one is mine. <laughs> <laughs> Long story short, I'm done. You done? Yeah. All right. Well, we're done. All right. If you guys want to keep up to date on info going on with me and shows and all that jazz. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at DJ Dead Rye. You know how to spell because it's right there on your fucking screen. Have a good day. I will see you all later.